Jacob DeGrom against Max Freed. Now, Max Freed's got to be tired of this. Every time he goes out there, it's either Max Scherzer or Jacob DeGrom going up against him. I mean, could he get a Carlos Carrasco day, try and make his life a little bit easier? But you've got the Mets here to minus 116. I don't know how many people are going to be scared about Jacob DeGrom at minus 116. Is that the right approach? I got to tell you, anytime Jacob DeGrom's on the mound, you're probably looking in that direction. But let's just take a look at some of these, you know, points here of why we would bet either side. If you're looking at just run scoring in this game, it looks like it's pretty going to be tough to come by. But is it one of those angles? Well, Max Reed's been on the IL and, you know, he had to get back from his concussion because that might weigh a little bit here on the Atlanta Braves side. Does he have that full arsenal of pitches? Meaning, can he go to 90 or 100 pitches today? Or is he cut short at 75 or 80? But if you look at the last 30 days, Kevin, Kevin, to take the snapshot of how good these pitchers have actually been. We just take a look at the lefty and righty splits here. We just weighted on base percentages here. For Max Freed, a 182 to the lefties, which he's a lefty, and to righties, a 271. If we flip that over and take a look at Jacob deGrom, a 126 to lefties, keep in mind deGrom is a righty, and a 136 to right-handed batters. Now, the end-all, be-all typically is the ISO power number because how much power are these pitchers giving up? Take a look at Max Fried to lefties in 053, to righties in 035. Lining up Jacob DeGrom, his power numbers against lefties and righties. How about the lefties in 036 and to righties a 111? I don't know where the baseball is going, but quite frankly, if he gets out of the infield, it would be impressive tonight. I'm leaning more towards an under in this game, but my goodness, it is just hard to pass up on Jacob DeGrom with what he's doing now and seemingly getting stronger every start. The last time he saw this team, he was perfect through five and two-thirds innings. He also struck out 12. Let me give a little insight here into kind of why, for me, when I am betting strikeouts, this cannot all be projections, projections, projections. Don, again, the last time he went out there, he struck out 12 against the Braves. Mm -hmm. Against the Phillies, he struck out 10. The projections Mm -hmm. tonight would tell you that this number – is going to be around a six and a half. And you'd want to play under seven and a half or better. Madness. Insanity. You'd be out of your mind if they posted a seven and a half to do anything other than go over. And by the way, it's going to be a nine and a half. Probably with juice to the over. And he's probably going to hit it. Because, Donnie, what happens if Jacob DeGrom, oh, I don't know, is allowed to go... Seven innings for the first time? Yeah. Like, I I started to think about this the other day when he did this against the Phils. Donnie, six innings, 10 Ks, 76 pitches. When we get to the playoffs here, right, and he's allowed to throw 100 pitches and maybe complete games, I mean, are these strikeout props going to be like 12 and a half for this guy? (laughs) Yeah. 